everyone, I'm Clint with the South Dakota Game Fishing Parks and today we've got a turkey in and I'm going to clean this up in kind of a, a little bit more labor intensive way but something that's going to give you the most meat possible out of this bird. Uh, the best way to do this is when this is fresh. We want to try and pluck those feathers as soon as possible. So even in the field, if you can hang it up in a tree, just bring a little bit of rope with you and start plucking. The longer this sits, the harder it is to pluck these feathers. Uh, also, it's going to make a lot less mess if you do it out in the field versus in your garage or in your home somewhere. So best thing to do is just to grab just a few little feathers and start plucking. Uh, you don't want to do too big a one, big of grip because you will tear the skin. I think I already grabbed just a little bit of skin and ripped it. And it's going to take some time. Just grab a little bit, a little pluck upwards. You can hang it upside down by the neck. It doesn't really matter. But I'm kind of going plucking a little away from the from the, the way it's lying. The skin on the back is just a little tougher than the skin on the breast here, so we have to be really delicate. That's why I'm starting on the back, just so I can get a feel of how well those feathers are embedded into the, the skin there. You can't even see any skin yet, and I've been working on this a little bit, so we're definitely going to be making a mess, and it's going to take some time. Alright, to remove this wing, I'm just going to move that joint a little bit so that I can feel where that, where those two bones come together. Give it a little cut, a little cut. I'm trying to get in between the bones there so I don't have any sharp bone pieces. Found it. Got to get it cut off of there. There we go, there's that. And all we got to do is just a little more cleaning up on this wing. And this one's about done. And we're just noticing that once you remove the feathers, how small of an animal this actually is, which makes Kind of difficult to, to hunt these things sometimes, especially if you're using a bow and arrow, there's a pretty small target. Feathers really makes, makes it see, seem like there's a lot more bird there than, it, than there is. But if you're using a shotgun, that's why you want to aim for the head and, and not ruin any of that meat. Um, yeah, there is some broadheads that allow you to, to shoot turkeys in the head uh, with archery equipment, but a whole nother challenge to that as well. And as I'm getting to the breast here, I'm noticing the challenges of not doing this immediately. This bird is a little warm yet, but it's, it's still not the freshest. This skin is really fragile, and I've got a little tear in it. But the reason why we decided to pluck this thing is to uh, utilize as much of the meat as possible. But also like you've seen in other videos of ours cooking that wild game tends to be pretty dry, can be dry. So this is another way to control that moisture is cook with the skin on to hold in some of that moisture. Another way if you don't get this super fresh, you could do it like a chicken when you process chickens and to uh, scald them, get some water boiling hot, dunk them, and kind of swirl it around there for uh, just five, 10 seconds and then pull them out. And then they can start to pull a little easier if those feathers get kind of stuck on there. But to be legal to transport these, I'd, I'd reference the hunting handbook. Now on the tail, we're just gonna cut this off right here. I know it's a hen, but you totally could keep a little fan out of the deal. It's kind of cool. Toms are going to have a nicer big fan to them, but it's very similar cool colors to them. And we're going to pretend we got one leg here with the tag on. This one here has our nice drumstick. I'm going to find that same joint right here and cut right between the bone and 
on this side. Try and find that little space. Then twist and that's gonna come right off of there. All right, now we're gonna get this off of the here so we can take it to the table. All right, so I got the tail right there and a little part I don't want attached. So we're gonna just kind of cut, grab hold. Sharper knife, a little cut. A little cut. Cut that off of there. Then you can feel right under the rib cage there. I'm just gonna grab that skin, punch a little hole so we can get into the abdominal cavity there. This bird is fat. There's a lot of fat on this bird right in this area. That's what all that yellow stuff is, just some fat. Okay, so I am just about ready. Let's reach up in there and remove everything. I just wanna make sure that this is all separated esophagus from the lining so that can all come out as one. Uh, That's where you get a little messy. Reach up in there with your whole hand, pull it all out together. When you're doing this, you should pay attention to some of this anatomy. You'll notice their lungs are along their back. So unlike a deer where you wouldn't want to shoot this animal running away from you or walking away from you, this is that's actually a really good shot on a bird with a, with a bow and arrow is into those lungs there. And I'm just reaching out, I can feel a little bit of that lung material. In the esophagus. And from here on out, I'll just kind of clean this out, reach up in here, clean this out, and I'll take this to the sink, and just start rinsing and find anything that I really don't want also in there. Now, if you want to cook this bird whole, you can leave it just like this, or what you could do is start to uh, split it in half. If this is too much food or you want to use it in a different way, you can cut this down a lot and slowly fillet off that meat. And you can do that all the way to the back side there. And you can have two halves of this thing. Uh, the other way to do this, if you're not wanting to pluck this, is just to get the breast and the leg meat. Uh, and, and that's where you can just take this knife again and run it along that breastbone and fillet this big hunk of meat off of there, similar to how you do a pheasant. And you can do the same thing here with this leg. What you can do is if that bird was whole, to rip that skin open all the way up over the breast and around the leg, and then just start removing those hunks of meat. That's another, a simpler method of getting some meat off of this. But this is one way we're gonna cook it a different sort of way, but also a way that is going to utilize absolute most of this bird.